So this was my CP on Monday evening when I did my stream and this is my CP now. Let me give you a taste of Agni's true power. 7k dreamer please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about how to get CP fast and I think it's been 4 days since my stream and I finally got my Rachel as you will see over here. So my account CP has risen by 160,000 okay, in the past 4 days. And how did I do that? We will find out in this video. And if you find this video useful, do give a like and subscribe to my channel as well. Over the past 4 days, I've been doing a lot of intensive account management. Okay, and the first tip I have to give you is to level up your heroes. I think this is a very basic tip that, you know, it's quite self-explanatory why leveling up your heroes is going to help you because it directly increases your account CP. So as you can see, I have gotten so many heroes leveled up and uh, if you saw on Monday, I didn't even have Shane, I didn't even have Coset, I didn't even have like a proper DPS for my PvE content. But you know, the day after I managed to get Shane, okay, managed to push my account CP to 170,000, and um, yeah, I also pulled a Coset from the banner, so it really helped. And okay, before talking about even leveling up heroes, of course owning a new hero is going to help you so much because having a new hero literally gives you a base CP of about 3000 or so. And if you are going to level up from there, it's going to increase so much more. And basically it's like a new tool for you to increase your account CP. Okay, another benefit about having new heroes is something we'll talk about later when we talk about gear. So back to leveling up of heroes. So for the past few days, to be honest, I was not able to clear the tier 3 dungeon until yesterday. So for the past week, okay, past 3 four days I would say I've been only auto clearing the tier 2 and all my potions come from there apart from other you know events or I also used up all my tickets rerun tickets okay for the day to run the potion dungeon in order to get all the exp potions that I need and I can then level up my heroes so that is a very tedious method especially if you are not progressing fast enough so you cannot climb to tier 3 that fast and you won't be getting a lot of potions so that's one thing the second way to level up your heroes is to do fuel expedition so doing fuel expedition is definitely going to speed up your leveling process by quite a bit if you can target the higher cp requirement few expeditions I would say go for it of course give your heroes adequate gear otherwise they may die I've tried leveling up my Claire uh, with subpar gear and, and she died a couple of times when she was slightly lower level and now she's level 30 so uh, doing few expedition definitely helps and of course you want to really make sure that you are able to get all 400 maps per day so I'm not sure if you guys actively go to the most emporium but he actually gives out 100 maps per day for free. Okay, so 400 maps is actually a decent amount for you to run your farming, uh, leveling up your heroes uh, and to get to a good amount. Sometimes I do level them up to level 29 or you know 19 or 15 or 14 and then I use potions to just top it up and get to wherever I want. Okay, so another tip is the AFK farming tip. I This is actually not the best way okay not recommended but if you can you can do it okay so the tip is to go to easy mode and you can do this in world chapter 9 or chapter 8 up to you if i want to train lower level heroes i tend to go back to chapter 8 but otherwise i i can possibly do that in chapter 9 so if you go to collecting materials again you can actually run the auto farm to enable your heroes to level up overnight that's if you can afford to let your pc run you know continuously it's much better on the pc okay but because on the pc you can actually do this trick whereby you hold down the space bar click your menu let go the space bar and your heroes will just farm so let me demonstrate this so i've had some trouble with this on the emulator because the key settings are not the same as the pc client but if you're running the pc client you can actually just hold down the space bar and it will trigger the uh the auto farming the auto battle 
Okay, not really auto battle, the manual battle I mean. Okay, you will actually let your healers just run around to farm. So if, as you can see in this case, assuming you have already helped down the space bar, your heroes will be farming in the background with the menu open. Okay, you can actually close the menu and your heroes will still continue to auto battle. Okay, so this is the trick where you can actually, you know, just let your heroes level up. But trust me, it takes an insanely long amount of time. Um, so sometimes when I wake up, if your hero is kind of at, at like, like level 33, for example, and you're trying to get to level 34, 7 hours may not even be enough, okay? I'm just gonna put it out there. It may not be enough, but for heroes, you know, at like maybe level 11 or level 15, when you wake up after 7 hours, they could probably gain 4 levels. Okay, so that is kind of like um, a method where only if you can afford to do that. Otherwise, I, I really think that you can just get by with the dungeon and the tickets and the fuel expedition. I think it's totally fine. But these are some things that I have done over the past four days to get my heroes leveled up somewhat. Okay, so after leveling up your heroes, and when I mean leveling up your heroes, I really, really mean leveling up a lot of the very very key heroes such as your resistance heroes i've done my scott my scott and ian are in the process of being level up to level 30 but my gillahan my adel my adele i mean <laughs> and my um who's the last guy henry are all at level 30 and i've also as promised from the stream leveled up my claire to level 30 right because she's very useful everyone says that so i've done that um so all these things are very important and instrumental in getting your account CP to a very decent amount. I also have other heroes which are not leveled up yet as you can see so if I were to spend the time to level them up I think it will boost my account CP a lot higher okay and I've also been pretty lucky with the summons in the regular banner I've managed to get an R plus um, Melissa, R plus Len, I think having these two are definitely something that benefit, that really pushed, you know, uh, give me the extra edge to get my account CP higher in a shorter period of time. Okay, so after you have leveled up your heroes, what are things you can do? So personally, I managed to skill enhanced all my heroes, okay, all. It is very costly, okay, especially if you're not someone that uh, has been... Um, getting a lot of gold. I've been in so many situations where I actually didn't have enough gold at all to do anything in the game. So all I could do was wait for the maps and then try to get the 100,000 gold each time when I do my fuel expedition. Okay, so I mean that's one of the advice I can give you. If you find yourself stuck, you have no resources at all, just wait for 6 hours or so and get the maps and then you can start your thing going again. Yeah, so skill enhancement is going to play a very important role. I think it's easily 30 to 50 points of CP, I think. I'm not too sure, I haven't been noticing. Um, but yeah, it is actually going to make a very big difference in your CP total. The next thing I want to talk about will be your equipment. Okay, so using my Coset example. Okay, maybe Coset is not a good example. How about my Scott? Okay, it's my Scott. So you can see this is a kind of a defense gear for him because I'm running him in the farming team. So I decided that, okay, I'm just going to give him decently built defense um, so that he won't die, right? <laughs> okay, so the thing about gear is that you really, really want to have all your heroes equipped with gear, even your trash heroes. So for example, my Miss Velvet here, I've actually just thrown on some uh, Ignore Defense Efficiency sets on her. I think there's an attack piece, okay, in the weapons, but giving your heroes gear is definitely going to also boost their, your CP overall. Whether or not it suits them, it doesn't matter at this point. All you want is just to get something on them. Another thing is make sure that you have a full set on them. Okay, you can go with a 3-2 set or a 5 set. The amount of CP increase is the same. So you can definitely go with a 3-2 if you are not comfortable or you do not have enough gear for a 5 set. That is also fine. So after gearing up your heroes, another thing is actually something I've done so laboriously um, is to transcend my gear. So because I've been doing so much farming, 
uh, whether or not it's the field expedition or the AFK farming. In fact, from the AFK farming, you get a lot of gear, okay? So from these pieces of spare gear that I have, I actually transcend my, um, my gear. Transcended most of it, I would say, as you can see under the equip status. Yeah, so you can see that I transcended a lot of gear, and also, again, it is very costly, okay? It's not something cheap, cheaper than skill enhancement, because there is so much gear that is just thrown to you when you do, when you're doing farming. I think it is the easiest way, it's easier than even enhancing your gear. Transcending is far easier um, than actually doing all the other things. For me, that's my personal opinion, because of all the duplicates that you get. So what you can do is focus down on your best set first, ensure that the hero or the set that has the best pieces are transcended first whether it is R gear or greater gear up to you uh, for myself I found myself transcending a lot of greater gear because that's the only thing that is most accessible to me of course I know that in future who cares about all these greater gear it's gonna be all trash right but it's still something at least for this case and it's the only way I can speed up my account CP right now so until I get better gear for, such as R gear or legend gear then these will have to do right otherwise there's no progress let us just do an example of transcending some gear because uh, I saved some extra pieces for demonstration purposes. So for example, this particular gear on my Rudy. So I can actually, I have so many pieces, look. So I can actually transcend and it's not going to, I mean the, the stat wise, it's not going to be a lot, but I do get 16 points of uh, no CP. So if, imagine if you do this for every single hero, or rather all your good sets, you're gonna get a very decent amount of growth, I would say. Okay, and you can do this for all, all your gear, all five pieces on your hero, and that will lead to a pretty significant amount of CP growth. Okay, of course, transcend what you can afford. If you can't afford and you want to hold back on some gold, Go ahead, okay, go ahead. I'm not saying that you have to transcend, especially since, you know, these gear could be outdated in the future. Another thing is the belt, but the belt is only obtained from your PvP rewards, okay? So of course, if you can push higher in PvP, you're gonna get a better belt, and that's gonna overall increase your CP by quite a good amount, because it applies to all your heroes, okay? So another thing is the upgrading, the enhancing of the gear. So as you can see, I actually have 100 greater uh, enhancement stones. But if you were to look at the amount of uh, common enhancement stones I have, you could be quite shocked. I mean, I don't know. For me, I think it's quite a lot. <laughs> okay, I do have 200. I, I previously had like 300-400 and I managed to convert them all to greater enhancement stones. And thereafter, from greater enhancement stones, you can actually craft rare enhancement stones and then use these stones to upgrade your gear to get even more boost. Okay, so where do I get all these enhancement stones in the first place? Like I said, I do get a, a lot, a lot of common gear when I do my farming, okay? So as you can see, like even when I'm just running, you do get new pieces of common gear, okay? And all these common gear will just give you common enhancement stones and some gold, which you can then, you know, trade in to get better enhancement stones over time. So this is kind of like a step-by-step -step process that I took. So I, I'm not sure if there's a much more efficient way to do this. I mean, if there is, do let me know in the comments because I am just figuring things out as I go along. So I may not have the most efficient ways of doing things, uh, but do advise me, okay? So that is the main gist of what I've been doing for the past four days. But of course, there are so many other things that do lead to account CP growth. And I think two of it is something that you guys probably have been doing daily which is the potential and divinity so the potential well i think i've messed it up big time <laughs> okay because i have been trying my best to you know as i said i'm very desperate for the account cp to get the rachel so i've been spreading out my stones across so many heroes um, and not focusing down on really just my DPSs or my support heroes or my, uh, my PvP heroes for example. Okay, but if you are a very strategic player, of course you will be saving these 
and then focusing down on certain heroes only but for me i was just spreading them out all across my heroes uh, seeing what benefits them most for example my shay i actually gave her hp increase and then for my rudy's uh for my rudy i actually gave him defense increase um i think my karin has both HP and defense since she's a support hero and I want her to live a little longer so yeah it's all over the place but you know because it's all over the place every hero had a little bit of growth okay so I I can't compare this to using so many of these what do you call that runes uh, elixirs elixirs um, on one hero I think that would be really slow but definitely more strategic in the long run so this is a decision that you have to make okay whether you want to speed things up or you just want to focus down on one hero at, at this point okay so the divinity is also pretty much the same i mean the thing the reason why i didn't want to talk about these in the first place is because they are kind of gated unless you're spending a lot to re rerun the dungeons otherwise i think as a free to play or light spender you these things are not really within your control like how much you get per day is going to be how much you spend per day it's not going to be something that you can continuously do and try to boost as much as you can you know what i mean okay so that's why i didn't want to talk about them as being the main drivers of the account cp but they are definitely uh, things that also help so another thing that i think many people or many guys have focused on is the hero codex buffs and of course that is something i cannot deny that is very good as well but again this takes a lot of time and I, i'm talking about a lot of time so in this video we are really focusing down on how to get the most cp in the shortest period of time in a couple of days so this is definitely not something that i really want to tell you that oh this is the best way to get cp you know what i mean okay unlike other guides so what does the hero codex buff give you they give you a lot of raw stats that is extremely good and it applies to all your heroes as you can see right these are my current codex buffs and these are also based on the heroes that you own okay so owning heroes is again one of the best ways to get more account cp but that aside um, you can see that each faction have their own buffs okay the, and how you can uh, this is also faction buff this is not hero proficiency okay this is two different things so this is a codex buff whereby you actually can the things you do to your heroes will add up and they will actually provide you with even more buffs across the whole inventory okay but the hero proficiency is another thing so the hero proficiency is a skill level uh, system that is and is obtained as you use the hero more in the game from what i've known you do not gain hero proficiency when you use them in the main scenario and you do not gain them if you use them in infinite tower i'm not too clear about the infinite tower part okay because i was told that you gain hero proficiency during limited daily events and i think infinite tower is one of them okay so i'm not too sure about that but based on the site that i was referring to uh, infinite tower does not give any hero proficiency so other things that give hero proficiency do include your growth dungeons all five dungeons your few expeditions your arena normal arena not competitive okay and also your rates four person and eight person rates so the more you use these heroes in these areas you will get hero proficiency and if you get hero proficiency also get some little buffs for each hero and you do get the soul stones of the hero as well so if you get the soul stone of a hero you're going to increase the level cap of your hero which in turn gives you more cp account cp okay so it is actually a very step-by-step -step and long process it's not something that you're going to achieve in two days just keep this in mind so two other things that do add to account cp are your pets as well uh, rare pets give 7500 cp okay as you can see here so of course how i got my rare pet first was based on the first purchase bonus <laughs> okay otherwise i probably may not have a rare pet even up to now so if you do want to spend lightly getting the first purchase bonus i think it's an extremely worthwhile thing okay because you do get a rare pet so let's just return away from the farming now so another thing i do want to talk about and the final thing that i feel will increase your account cp 
is your formation but I don't want to go so deep into formation yet because I do want to spend an entire video talking about formation and uh, going in depth of, about formation which is going to be the next video uh, but formation buffs and formation uh, level ups okay will also give you increased amount of CP for each formation level up so for example you can see here a level 3 formation will give 2000 more so the more formation buffs you have the higher your account CP is going to be. Each level is going to give you 1000 CP. That is pretty significant if you ask me. Okay, but how do you upgrade your formation? That is going back again to your rates. You need to accumulate your books in order to upgrade your formation. And upgrading formation is also very costly. So yep, I think these are all the methods and knowledge that I have to impart to you in order to get your account CP to a very high level very quickly. 150,000 CP in 4 days, I, I'm not sure if that's an average amount, okay, but for me that is honestly quite an achievement, I have to say, because I did manage to catch up to a number of players on my friends list who already had a higher amount of CP when we last saw. So I think it's a pretty good achievement for me. Okay, so I hope this video helped and if it did, do give a like and subscribe to my channel. Big shout out to my channel members, ZMD Phoenix, Yamaki, Hajime-chan and Reggie Batista for the support. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much and see you!